and welcome to Mark One Sailing. I'm Mark. And I'm Mark. We have a new series and it's all about navigation. That's gonna be up every second week for the time being and in this episode, Mark, not me, the other one, is gonna talk about the coordinate system of the Earth, longitude, latitude, and how to express any point on the Earth using that system. So, without further ado, to the lesson. Handing off to you, Mark. Today is our first lesson of our navigation program and we start with the main basics. As you see, we start today with the coordinate system of the Earth. This is our Earth and everyone knows the North Pole and the South Pole and there is also something as an Eastern Hemisphere and a Western Hemisphere. Every coordinate system needs a point zero. We have two coordinates. We have latitude starting from the equator going north or south. And we have a vertical axis, the longitude starting from the Greenwich Meridian, which goes from the North Pole to the South Pole. And the longitude goes to the east or to the west. As the Earth is not flat, but a ball, we don't have lines, we have circles which are describing the coordinates. Every circle has 360 degrees, but for the longitude it's necessary only to have 180 degrees to the east and 180 degrees to the west. For the latitude, 90 degrees to the north and 90 degrees to the south. With these coordinates you can describe every point on the Earth. So how is this done? You always start with the latitude. For example, we have our position here somewhere in the northwestern part of the Earth. Let's say here. And for a position, you always make a cross on your charts. So that's our position. First things first. We do the latitude. The latitude is given by an angle. This angle is calculated from the center of the Earth, which is the core of the Earth, going to our point zero. Zero latitude is the equator. You have one line. So that's our zero line. Then we take the latitude of our position and go to the next meridian and then we draw a line from the center to the earth to the latitude of our position. That's our latitude. Always given and named by phi. So this is phi and phi is a two-digit number because it can only go from 0 to 90 degrees either north or south. So we say this is for example 35 degrees north. When you plot your position on a paper, so you have it in your logbook or something else, you say 35 degrees, but that's not accurate enough. You need minutes. Every degree has 60 minutes. But here it's exactly on 35 degrees, so we have zero minutes. And to make it even more accurate, you have one digit after the decimal. So 35 degrees, 0, 0.0 minutes, and to the north of the equator, so north. Then the next step is the longitude. It's exactly the same process, but not vertically, but horizontally. Again, You plot your longitude to the next latitude circle, here the equator. And then you draw an angle from the center to the earth to your zero of longitude, which is the Greenwich Meridian. And then from the center to the earth 
to your longitude of your position. Zack. That's given and named by lambda. Lambda can go from 180 east to 180 west. So it's a three digit number. Even if it's here, for example, 40 degrees to the west, you put a zero in front of it. So if you see one number and it's not clear if it's latitude or longitude, you can guess by the digits. If it's two digits, it's a latitude. If it's three digits, it's a longitude. We have zero for zero degrees to the west. And again, exactly zero decimal zero minutes. And that's your position. As you see, we have here a globe to demonstrate this a little bit better. As we said, we have our zero in latitude, the equator. And here is England and here is Greenwich. So this is the zero in longitude, which meets somewhere here. And this is the zero point of our coordinate system. And now you see, if you go north, you have here the latitude going from zero to 90 degrees north and here going from zero to 90 degrees south and going from Greenwich back to the globe on the other side to 180 degrees west and the other way around to 180 degrees east. And that's it for the coordinate system. Thanks for watching everybody. Next week we're going to repair a broken part of the hull of our catamaran. Now, the socket on one of the lids of the hull broke through and that's what we're repairing. The week after that, Mark's going to be here with another navigation lesson. Thanks for watching. If you found the video helpful, like, subscribe even, and you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Links down below in the description. Thanks so much for watching and as always, fair winds to you.